Uh, and it got Joe and I talking about, well, how can we do that? How can we do that on a national level? And this might be the ticket to us really making a difference. And uh, in that context, I just, I kind of had this idea, like it just popped to my mind of this kind of vision of Joe pushing a shopping cart across the nation. And, I, and I, I spoke the words. I said, well, I don't know, Joe, why don't you push a shopping cart across Canada? Myself and Robert got in the RV here in Vancouver and drove to Calgary. The idea was we'd go start in Calgary and work our way back to Vancouver because Vancouver is my hometown. It's also the neighborhood that I escaped from 23 years ago. So going into July 1st, there was a lot of anxiety. Like, am I going to be out? How am I going to be able to walk 24 kilometers every single day, six days on, one day off? That frightened me. The more memorable moments, probably Rogers Pass, Kicking Horse Pass. Early intervention is really about getting kids to that early stage when they're probably in a, in a space of turmoil. Um, they might be struggling with some self-esteem issues. Maybe it's, you know, they might be going through some tough times in family or uh, bullying in school or any, any number of um, factors that, around adversity that, that, uh, that, are, that are challenging to themselves and may leave them feeling a bit less than. And late intervention is, is probably Joe's story, very much. It's about this idea that here he was, living on the streets of downtown Vancouver, pushing a shopping cart around, sleeping under a bridge, heroin addict. Many people would walk by someone like that and say, lost cause. Late intervention is about saying, it's never too late. Well, coming into the downtown east side, we didn't expect what we got. Um, I didn't even know if we were gonna have the police escort or if I was gonna have to walk that shopping cart on the sidewalk. And then we hit the, those, those buildings where it echoed. And I don't know who, whose idea it was, but they just started hollering, go, Joe, go, go, Joe, go. You know, and uh, I just felt a lot of pride. That final kilometer really stood out because it, it really did exceed expectations and there are people behind this and um, overwhelmed with what, uh, with what Joe has done and what the Push for Change stands for.